Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with www.learnvisualstudio.net and in this lesson we're going to talk about keeping your data bound controls updated whenever the underlying collection of POCO objects changes out from under you. So previously, up to this point, whenever we were binding to data, the only scenario I showed you was binding to kind of a static set of, uh, of items. Uh, and, and so we would bind once whenever the page first loads or whenever the app first loads. However, we need to discuss another scenario and that's in what happens whenever we update that collection of data out from under our, uh, our data bound controls. So what happens when I need to programmatically add new items to the list or remove items from the list? Well. I want you to take a look at this example. It's the simplest possible contact manager application you can build. Here I'm just going to add my first name, my last name, and then choose an avatar from a list and click add. Now my intent here is to add, create a new instance of contact, add it to a collection, a list of contact called contacts, and then I'm hoping that my grid view control in that large white area below my form will actually then display the new contact. But as you can see, it doesn't do that. And I'm left to scratch my head here and wonder why isn't that working? Well, the reason why that's not working is because nobody told the grid view that something changed. Uh, you have to let it know that, uh, that there is new information to bind to. And the way you do that is to use a different type of collection. So here you can see that I've created a collection, a list of contact. And we've, we've done that up to this point, but it's not going to work for us anymore. What we need to use is a different type of collection called observable collection of contact. All right, so let me comment out some things and uncomment out some things. And so now you can see that I've changed from a list of contact to an observable collection of contact. So whenever you see the term observable in the .NET Framework class library, that means that your data bound control, whether it's a grid view, list view, whatever the case might be, uh, will be listening or watching the collection for changes. And whenever a change happens, the collection, the observable collection of contact will say, hey, anybody who's watching me right now, I have a change, so you might want to go off and rebind yourself to me, all right? And so let's take a look now. Let's build the application, and uh-oh, we get an error. Why do we get an error that we cannot convert from observable collection of contact to observable col uh, to a uh, list of contact, okay? Well, the reason is because of the way that we're binding to our data. Uh, you can see that we're using xbind statements. I didn't really say much about xbind when we actually started using it. It's actually the newest binding statement that's available. It was just introduced with the Universal Windows Platform. And what it does is it pre-compiles the bindings before your application runs even the first time. Whereas in the old style, just the binding syntax that was available previously before the Universal Windows Platform, it would do this all at runtime. Now, why would you pre-compile? You pre-compile to improve the performance of the application. So what's happening here is when we, I first wrote this application against a list of contact, Visual Studio went out and generated some source code for me behind the scenes that I can't easily get to from the Solution Explorer. I can get to it, it's just not easy to get to. Now, the way to fix this is to tell Visual Studio, hey, go off and regenerate that code. And the way you do that is you go inside of your data template and you just hit, you select everything inside the data template, you hit Control X, you give Visual Studio half a second to think about it, and then you go Control V to paste it back in. And when you do that, it should now regenerate what we're binding to. In this case, we're going to bind to an observable collection instead of a list collection. That code should be generated now when I go to build the solution again. Bam, it works. Okay, so let's go ahead and run the application now and see the app actually working this time as I type in my name and I choose an avatar. And there you go. Our observable collection of contacts said, hey, I've got a new contact, Bob Tabor with the bearded guy icon. So if you're, if you're binding to me, anybody who's binding to me, you need to know 
that I've changed. And so the grid view says, hmm, well, yeah, I was watching you, and I see that you changed. Let me go ahead and update what I'm displaying on screen here. And so there you go. If you like anthropomorphic explanations of code, then hey, this was right in your wheelhouse. Okay, so one last thing that I want to say before we move on off this topic, and that is uh, whenever you're reading articles online or watching videos, you might come across a term called MVVM related to binding to data with your universal windows platform app your windows 8.1 or windows phone 8.1 app or even the windows presentation foundation app okay uh, all these xaml based uh, um, uh, platforms so mvvm stands for model view view model it is a design pattern for writing code on the user interface that binds to data. Now what I'm showing you in this example with the observable collection is really a building block a uh, first step foundational concept towards learning more about MVVM and I actually cover that topic in depth in the previous version of this series the Windows Phone 8.1 development for absolute beginner series on channel 9 so if you want to learn more about MVVM you'll want to take a look at all those um, those lessons that have something to do with observable collection or MVVM or this interface called I notify property changed okay look in the, the description for the videos or the titles to, to see that um, and like I said this apply that MVVM concept applies to all XAML based user interface technologies okay so that's all that I want to say about that but we're going to revisit our little uh, simple contact manager application in the next couple of lessons uh, so uh, we will see you there thanks